Hey guys, how's it going? Joey here, back with this part commentary. We are going to be playing some Milio today. Um, Milio is a champion that is just really good with Lucian, really good at certain AD carries and stuff like that. I don't know if it's better than Nami right now. I kind of like Nami a bit better, depending on the build that the Lucian goes. I think it kind of changes how it is, but I think Static Shift is just so broken right now, and that's what I like to go with. I have like Nami, so I think Nami is a little bit better than Milio right now for Lucian, but overall still a very decent champion. I think the Milio win rate is pretty, pretty good as it is. Uh, the champion is very simple and not really too much game impact, but I don't like playing it too often. I only really pick it in situations that I think it's just kind of 1v9, and it's like the champion is so good in this situation that if I don't pick it, I'm trolling. Um, it does it does exist a couple of those. We should go. Make sure we're getting the maximum trade that we can for our level 2 spike. Feels good, man. Um, so I just want to give it a go with the, I mean, I don't think it's too good into the enemy champions to be completely honest with you. I think it's like fine in a Scion, but it's definitely just good with Lucian in general. So it's fine. I also have a bunch of eight carries as it is. What it is. Uh, before when I was playing Milio, I think I was building first item Staff of Flowing Water just because it was so strong with Lucian because you're getting the AP as well as the movement speed. Um, that felt pretty good. I think I'll probably go for a similar build. To be completely honest with you, I don't really know what else I'd really want to go. Uh, I could go Moonstone, but my entire team dies really fast in fights, so I'm not actually going to get a lot of value from the Moonstone procs. Um, because the fights will be a lot shorter, so higher... Oh, come here. Higher burst... Uh, higher burst build is probably better, or like something that can find more to the team than Moonstone. is probably going to be overall just a better item for me. Um, I don't really see getting that much value from Moonstone because I shouldn't get too many casts off of my my spells and fights. So I'd rather make the few casts that I have like a lot stronger with they're providing for my team. But the problem is not really everyone on my team uses Staff of Flowing Water like well. Um, some people use the hit that. I think he knows that my poison makes it so or not my poison, my burn makes it so that the, the plants die in one auto. Kind of OP for this matchup, if I'm being honest. Good trade. Trade. Be a little careful about our mana here, though. Don't want to go too low or anything like that. I don't have anything. You too. Yep. Pretty good. Honestly, really fine for us. We're going to get enough on the other side of the map that it's probably not going to be the most impactful thing. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to try Ardent. I I don't often go Ardent, especially on Milio. I don't think I've ever built Ardent really on this champion. I think Ardent is just worse than Staff as an item in general, but I, I want to give it a go. I haven't tried it. A lot of my champions are auto attackers, so they do benefit a lot from the attack speed. Um, even Rumble, when he's overheated and stuff like that, will benefit from the attack speed. I think the Lucian double passive will also feel quite good. So I'm going to go for Ardent and then probably into Staff or something like that and just kind of see how that build feels. I think naturally right now, Moonstone into Redemption is a little bit better build. Um, but I do want to just give this a go. And in most cases, Moonstone and whatever will be a better build, but I'm not in that realm of life right now. I would like to give a different, uh, different item build different chances. Uh, I think that it's always nice to experiment and kind of see what you feel is best uh, in different games, because it's not always going to be the best build, especially with how the game is now with items. Like, there is no, like, one best build. It's, a lot of the time it's situational, especially for support. Just going to do that. Uh, they take prior here. It's kind of weird. Our ADK probably should have just reset on a earlier timer. I want to make sure I can shield if he gets damaged. This is fine for us, though. I don't think they can crash this wave in time, so they're probably just going to slow push it, and I'll just be able to collect the XP. Don't really care too much about the CS or anything like that. If you guys are enjoying the videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it a lot. If you guys want me to play different champions or whatnot, I do have a list of things that people want me to play. Um... And I'll try to get around to them and stuff like that. I know there's a lot of like full AP Janet and stuff like that. People ask for a couple of times. Uh, Terex, Seraphine. Um, people do ask for Milio a decent amount as well. So I do try to play play what I can in situations that I can. But I might start playing on a lower ranked account and like playing the more wild suggestions just to see how they are. Um, it's a little hard to get more consistent games when you're playing kind of troll stuff. Like not as... As normal to the meta. 
Although we have played like Azure support stuff in Challenger game, so I don't think it really matters too much. It's just how easy it is for me to get the videos out. I'm not sure if you guys would care about that because usually I, I'm just playing on my main for the majority of the content that I produce. Um, my main is like Grandmaster, Challenger, MMR. Not fully Challenger right now because of just, uh, wow, my Lucian is fucking insane at the game. Oh no, my phone is going off. Where is it? Somebody's call boxing for food. Okay. My Lucian played that insanely well, by the way. I'm kind of surprised. You said I don't like playing Lucian Nami in, or Lucian Billy and stuff like this in Solo Queue, especially in NA, because I don't think the Lucians actually play that aggressive, or they don't actually use the combo that well, but this guy's playing extremely well, so I love to see that. It actually makes me really happy. Um, I think that's in general the problem with NA, not as a region, but um, in Solo Queue, I feel like people do not play to their limits very well. I feel like a lot of the time it is like, they're playing very, very passive and very safe, and they're not actually playing like to the edge um, or really trying to push advantages in the land. They're just happy to scale. And because I mean, you can win just scaling as AD carry in solo queue, but I really like AD carries that actually play aggressive. That's why I really enjoy playing with Draven players, is because they, I kind of understand this. Um, certain pro players do this as well. Not every pro player, surprisingly, especially in like tier two. Whoops, what's that? Uh, but even some tier ones don't play that insanely aggressive in solo queue every game. I was yapping about something, but I don't remember what I was yapping about. That was kind of a combo there, no? Fucking goat. Oh. So close there at the end to killing the, what's it called? I think if he spaced a little bit better, he would have killed her. I was actually very curious how the auto attack would, or the Q would work under the plant bounce. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I thought like the Zed just popped up on us or something. We have the Zed on our team. I'm having a very good time. Honestly, I shouldn't have got that cannon. Oops. I just probably kind of griefed there a little bit. Probably kind of griefed a little bit. Yep. Not going to shield that. The reason I'm not going to shield that is because I have so low mana. I don't want to waste mana on a shitty shield. Or not a shitty shield. I want to get like the highest value shield, which is probably just me fighting when I'm actually fighting rather than just like some random oak ability. Even though it would do something. I want to make sure that when we actually are all inning, I do have the ability to help my Lucian. That one I just feel like I have to shield. I don't know. I have enough mana now for one E1W. Ideally, we're not resetting here until we have 200 more gold. I'm not going to do anything about that. Kind of weird for her to buy Oblivion Orb first item. Guess it's done more than I thought it was going to do. That one I was giving to him for the movement speed to make sure he dodged the ability. Uh, a bit sad for me to reset. This is the support changes in action, though. I think if I had the other or old support item... Here I would have enough gold for the reset. I, I think I'm just going to stay though. I don't think there's too much value for me to reset at this timer because I'm not going to have my Ardent to begin with. And I'm just going to be kind of sad in AFK on this timer anyway. Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually griefing. I'm griefing. I should, okay, okay. I should stay if Lucian stays. It's fine for me to stay if Lucian stays, but if, Lu or not Lucian. Um, if Jin doesn't stay, then I shouldn't stay. I should have synced my reset with him. I shouldn't auto that. I should wait for me to carry to come. I want to freeze. This Jin might ult me, but that's fine. I'm going to start putting points into W. I like going three points into E into W max. Generally, I think the W is just a way better mid game and late game ability. Having more than one W in a team fight is very impactful. If you guys are wondering about the build path, whenever I play enchanters for the most part, especially stuff like Sona, Milio, Nami, uh, Soraka, I don't care about boots. Um, I don't care about pink cords. I don't care about anything. I just care about getting the item as fast as I possibly can and getting that spike because the first item spike for these champions is just so strong. I don't know how Arden is on Milio. In general, I assume it's just strong enough, especially with Lucian. Like, I'm much happier with this than if I had like tier two boots and and like uh, an Aether Wisp and a Fairy Charm. So I'd rather build like this. Uh, I think it's very proper, especially on champions like Nami. Um, maybe less proper on not Nami or the... Uh, I want to queue this guy. That's fine. Uh-oh. Can't believe he got hit by that. I thought about flashing in front of it, but I didn't. I 
missed my cue there. Oh, yo, chill. Am I dead? Oh, I'm good. You dead? Yes. Nice. Ian. Especially since when you're playing these champions, you aren't actually really roaming that much on the map, so it's not like you're getting a lot of value from the movement speed to begin with. What are you staying for? You're just being a homie and freezing for the Lucian. My Ardent did 103 damage that fight. Honestly, a lot lower than I wanted it to be. And this doesn't include the extra auto attacks that they're getting for the 25% attack speed. Um, so maybe it's a little bit better than I think it is. And he got an extra auto in there, which does increase the damage by a lot if he is getting the extra autos in there. But I mean, it is Lucian. He doesn't benefit that much from attack speed to begin with. So maybe this is just overall grief. And you should only build this when you're actually getting the attack speed value and not the on hit value. Because Lucian gets you on hit value on this a lot. Because the second, second passive auto attacks do proc Ardent. We built my shields there. A little awkward. Got some wards. Do you miss the old days of Ardent, like way back when? I know it gave you like lifesteal or whatever or on hit HP back. It was so fun to play. Now this this version of Ardent is just bad. I've never really liked Ardent since those changes. I've always thought it was like a pretty mediocre item. Yeah, I feel like I'm feeling that again right now. But I mean, I don't think that staff would have had a bigger impact there. I mean, I, I know the Moonstone probably would have had a bigger impact there. Than whatever this was, but I just don't think staff would have. No dash again. It's. I mean, that one was highest for what's it called? They did an extra 100 damage. Hmm. Maybe I got faked out by Vi maybe having ulti there. I don't think I had to summon her heal. If I had ulti though, and he kind of went on me with the Lucian 4 shot after, or not Lucian 4 shot. The Jin Force shot from Ulti. I think I have to uh, summon heal there. Oops. I mean, this is not real. Oh, this is definitely real. What the fuck? Oh my god, so much slowing. Just give me the Ardent damage, I don't care. Bit annoying, we didn't really respect the timer that well. That's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just go Dream Maker. There's just not really another option for my champion, I'm being completely honest. I could argue that Celestial Opposition is actually good this game uh, because I don't have tanks and stuff like that, but I'm still just gonna go Bubble. This item did get buffed with levels recently, I believe. So it is quite okay. Uh, I know you can go like Solstice Slay when you play Nami with Lucian because the movement speed, and it actually feels quite good. Um, my team is popping off. Whoa, team gap, team gap. I'm gonna upload this. Someone's gonna yap at me. Oh my god, you're carried. Why are you posting the video? Not bad, guys. I just want to play Milio. I just want to play Milio. Uh, if my Lucian's hitting tower, I want to hit tower. Make sure I'm giving both of us Ardent. Ardent lasts for so long these days, though. Six seconds is so nice. Eh, I mean, I Ardent did a lot of tower damage there. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, the extra attack speed. I mean, I'm sure it's fine to go Ardent. I, I he's just an Ardent hater for no reason. Ardent doesn't deserve the hate. I'm not going to go the aggressive way. I'm not going to troll my solo key game. Even though I'm kind of sad I'm not going the aggressive way. It's fine. Just be a little noob. Go the safe way. Didn't think my Lucian was going to ward. I shouldn't have shot on this mid wave. I should have walked a long way around. We should be hitting Herald. Oh, get in there, buddy. Did I not get the bear recall? Oh, I didn't auto attack it. Oops. Not playing too well with my Lucian right now. My bad, bud. 
Uh, do I want to just W him for the heal? That is the question on the mind currently. Whoa, insane Jin W prediction. 5,000 IQ. That's crazy. I'm too far for this. Boom. Boom, boom. Shadow Ward here to place on mid while we're retreating. Guess we're just back with our Lucian. Uh, I said I was going to go Ardent, right? Air Staff. Right, pick words now. I don't feel too bad. Come on, buddy. I like going Font, though, as well, when you're going Ardent, because it's just it's so easy to apply the Ardent. I mean... Well, there's just a weird champion, man. I thought I'd get more Scorch damage as well, because my, e, my E does apply Scorch, right? I'm like 90% sure. I like my passive burn. There's only a passive burn when I proc it. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it did. I need to pay attention to that. Give me a sec. You see my Lucian hit someone with my passive one? Didn't get the word off. I don't think they saw that. I only did it on the first one. It's weird. Just want to see if it does work. Because I thought it did, but I, I the number is so low that I might be wrong. And it might only work when you auto. But I swear it did in the past when they buffed Milio or like how all these champions damage works. So I'm not sure. Because like I don't go... Um, I don't go mana flow band for a very similar reason to that, so I don't think it's actually that worth it to go mana flow band. Oh, it doesn't proc my Scorch. What the fuck? I think it might be that I have to be the one to hit him. But there's no way it's a 90 just from my Qs. Because I really don't think I've landed any Qs. I'll just W this guy for the HP. Yeah, definitely go Gathering Storm then. Whoops, my bad. There's somebody that thought it parked on passive. I guess I'm just wrong. I guess it, I think it fucks when you pay passive, but I just... Maybe it's only Q. That's bad. That's troll. Sorry, team. Uh, but Nimbus Cloak is broken. I don't know Mana Flow Band, because you can only get Mana Flow Band from your Q. And you don't land enough Qs. Like, I don't think I would have Mana Flow Band even 19 minutes into the game right now. Just this, like how little you land or actually use your Q in leaning phase and stuff like that. Especially if you don't have push. If you have push, it's a little bit more manageable because you can kind of use Q as a poke ability or do you main him push. But if you're not doing that, then yeah. I'm actually kind of happy going Ardent with the build that my Lucian ended up going with. Um, I think he does kind of lack attack speed in a way. So be actually building, giving him attack speed feels good. Um, again, not that a champion's the greatest attack speed hitter. <laughs> Get in there. The voices. The Milio voices. Trying to peer pressure my AD carry into dashing in because I gave him a shield. I'm gonna reward this real quick. The thing with how words work these days, since it's so easy to just ping them and everyone knows that it's worded on midwave, when you ward like this, you actually have to really make sure they don't have vision of it. It's just too obvious. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, my Scorch didn't proc there. Wait, my Scorch proc now? Hey, what are you doing? Ulti. What the fuck? It knocked me up. Oh, there's a Zyra ulti, but it's in the bush. I didn't see the actual animation of it. Okay, we're trolling. This Vi just did the most turbo into engage and somehow it worked. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. My Scorch didn't proc on my Q on the Scion, but then proc'd on passive? That's yeah, like, whatever. I, I don't care. Just don't take Scorch. It's dog shit. I made a mistake. Hey, move on. Uh, nobody yap about it. Whatever. 
It's fine, it's fine. 400 damage from Ardent, not including extra auto attacks. I mean, actually, auto attacks is probably like 1k. Yeah, I mean, it's a global buff, so maybe more. Let's see, let's see. We should almost have RFC. We almost have staff. I want to get vision around top side. Try to get an assist on this. Okay, so she was in top side, and what she was probably doing is trying to find deep vision somewhere. Awards. This is where you actually get a ton of art and value though, is on Baron and stuff like that, because you do give AoE buff to your teammates for both attack speed and damage. You actually provide a lot of Baron damage. Oh my god, I predicted it. Wait, what? Where did this Talia come from? My god, relax Uzi. No, Uzi! Good job, Uzi. As far as dad comes in, thanks, we can be Baron. Uzi I with the pop off. All right, we have the Exodia shields now. That's actually a lot. But it's probably just because I have a guy with against Zeus, yeah. That fight, the Arden value is probably insane. I mean, just overall, that situation, Arden value is probably insane. How much AP do I have? Only 99. Wait, what? More. Fine. At least I move fast with my movement speed. Feels good, man. Ow. Go, oh, kill him! Nice. That's right. Maybe one extra auto attack there? Probably not, though. Not gonna hold that. No point. Need to protect our vein. Hey. Oh, he's got a W down here. I thought he was going to charge his Q there. Okay, somebody kill this Ion. Never mind, don't kill this Ion. We are kind of rolling them. That is the benefit of the comp that we have right now. Is like if we get ahead, it's very easy for us to play the game. Pretty happy with the Ardent buy. I actually think it was good. Sorry, that's like literally the only thing I've talked about the entire game is if the Ardent was good or not. And we have the conclusion. It was a good purchase. End the fucking video. Roll the fucking credits. Okay, you know what? I'm down. We're playing or I'm playing. Okay, we're not playing. Holy shit, we're playing? And we're not playing? Are we playing or not playing? We're not playing. Oh my god, that damage was insane. Rumble is so broken sometimes. Alright, uh... So much time to buy an item here. Does Helios even do anything these days? Fuck, let me try Helios. Let's see if Helios actually does anything. Alright, the Scorch was a mistake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm never happening again. Do you want to test how it works? I swear it should apply. Or did it point? Whatever. It's fine. I missed the full AP Milio. The full AP Milio video we did was so much fun though. But I don't know if you can do it on this season anymore. Especially with the support gold income decreases. I actually realized I really hate what they've done with support item over the past... Um, over the past... Uh, like year. Like... Less gold income, whatever blows, honestly makes sense. The fact that support item is 
like the same like everyone gets their support items stocks around the same timing kind of sucks to me whatever all right if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like comment subscribe i will hope to see you guys in the next one bye